A manhunt continues in Baldwin County at this hour for an escaped inmate from the Baldwin County Correction Center. 41-year-old Jose Andre Rosado Ortiz is on the run and considered dangerous. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams is live at the jail in Bay Minette, and deputy authorities believe he's been on the run since around 2.30 this morning. Yeah, Ortiz was being housed here in a dormitory style area of the jail. And they say that he uh, escaped through some construction areas, that the, the jail is undergoing some kind of construction project for replumbing, and that he came through that area and then climbed and got over two razor wire fences to get out. That led to several roadblocks and lockdowns around the jail. Dogs from the Department of Corrections were called in to try and pick up a track in uh, 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 certainly around the jail and into the neighborhoods surrounding the, the jail. Ortiz has been in jail since uh, February of 2019 on burglary, drug and gun charges. His last known address was in Robertsdale, but he's also lived in Mobile and known to frequent New Orleans. There is video of him climbing over the fences and they believe he cut himself up pretty good over that razor wire. The last is we absolutely know right now is he was on foot. While we do expect that he probably did get in a vehicle until we establish that he has left the, left the area, we do ask people to just be a little bit more mindful of what's going on in the area and certainly call the sheriff's office or the Baymanette Police Department if they do see anything suspicious. Now, this is the most current mugshot of Ortiz. This is February of 2019. He is also supposed to have several distinguishable tattoos. Authorities are asking uh, anyone in a five or six block area around the jail that may have a home security system or businesses with security systems to review that footage and see if you have any information uh, captured on those cameras that could help authorities. They ask that you call the Baymanette Police Department, the Sheriff's Office, or your local law enforcement agency as they try to get this guy back behind bars. Live in Baldwin County in uh, Baymanette, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.